Stent graft is constrained inside the accelerant delivery catheter. The accelerant delivery system consists of a single-use disposable catheter with an integrated handle to provide controlled deployment, a flexible catheter assembly compatible with 0.035 inch guide wire, runners that reduce friction between the anurex stent graft and the graft cover, an atraumatic radiopaque tapered tip to facilitate tracking through tortuous vessels, a radiopaque marker band at the distal end of the stent graft, and a marker on the end of the graft cover to aid in fluoroscopic visualization. To prepare the accelerant delivery system for insertion, flush the guide wire lumen with saline. Insert the primary bifurcated anurex stent graft with the accelerant delivery system into the vessel. Place the delivery catheter so that the proximal edge of the graft, indicated by the radiopaque markers, is at or immediately above the renal arteries. For final orientation of the contralateral pant leg or missing iliac limb, rotate the catheter clockwise or counterclockwise so that the gate markers are situated to the right or left side of the guide wire, corresponding to the intended position of the contralateral limb. To deploy the proximal end of the stent graft, first hold the delivery system stationary with one hand on the front grip. Then slowly withdraw the graft cover by rotating the slider counterclockwise with the other hand. Retract the graft cover two centimeters until the four top proximal radiopaque markers are seen. Adjust the stent graft position to just below the lowest renal artery by pulling down on the entire accelerant delivery system. At any point, the trigger on the slider can be used for more rapid deployment of the stent graft. It is recommended, however, that slow rotational movement of the slider be used until the contralateral short pant leg is deployed. Caution when using the trigger to rapidly deploy the stent graft, be sure to hold the delivery system stationary. To deploy the distal end of the stent graft, hold the delivery system stationary and retract the graft cover until it is just below the distal radio-opaque marker on the delivery catheter. To remove the delivery system, depress the quick disconnect button to retract the tapered tip and runners. Use continual fluoroscoping and watch the top of the anurex stent graft while slowly pulling back the runners and tapered tip into the graft cover of the accelerant delivery system. To place the iliac stent graft, insert the accelerant delivery catheter so that the proximal radio-opaque marker on the iliac limb is aligned with the upper radio-opaque markers on the contralateral gate. To deploy the iliac stent graft, hold the front grip of the delivery system stationary and slowly withdraw the graft cover by rotating the slider counterclockwise with the other hand. At any point, the trigger on the slider can be pulled back for more rapid deployment. Caution when using the trigger to rapidly deploy the stent graft, be sure to hold the delivery system stationary. Continue deployment of the stent graft until the graft cover is just below the distal radio-opaque marker on the accelerant delivery system. To remove the delivery system, depress the quick disconnect button to retract the tapered tip and runners. Use continuous fluoroscopy and watch the top end of the anurex stent graft while slowly pulling back the tapered tip and runners into the graft cover of the delivery catheter. If it is necessary to deploy an extender cuff, a delivery catheter with the proper size extender cuff is passed to the area at the proximal or distal end of the anurex stent graft. The extender cuff is then deployed with adequate overlap, at least two centimeters, inside the already placed anurex stent graft. Extender cuffs are deployed in the same manner as other straight stent grafts, as described earlier. 
completion and geography should be repeated. Caution. When deploying the aortic extender cuff, use the rotational method of deployment. This will provide optimal control in the deployment of the extender cuff. Failure to do so could result in inaccurate deployment. The aneurex stent graft implantation is complete with exclusion of blood flow to the aneurysm.